Whew. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Oh, shit, dude. That is not yours. The key you require is in the chest. Leave all else, for it is mine. Psst. Not to uh, point out the obvious, but can you imagine what this stuff would be worth on the surface? You will not. It is mine, all of it. Take only the key, or I shall destroy you. You mind? Way ahead of you. I want this shit. Bianca says the treasure is ours. We're on your attack. Like, I don't care about demons. <laughs> Stone cold. Look, I understand the demon wanted to be there, but I'm not. I'm not letting a demon just sit here down here, sit down here and feeding off their hunger. You know, because then I can't be blamed if any demons come up from the surface. <laughs> up to the surface, I should say. Collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. Which so happened to be uh, a staff. A very good staff. Um, and the amulet that I want to wear. And a bunch of like trash, but we'll just ignore that for now. All right. Do like that again. His middle ability well, uh, well oiled. Time is coin, and everything is spent. And it's someone's time to die, so attack speed is up. Cool. Uh, Fender, so I'm dumping everything into strength, which apparently I couldn't do math. It would get you up to twenty-seven. I don't know why, but I was like, ah, it's 26, right? That's how you do math. No, no, that's not how you do math. <clears throat> I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? Probably Before a week. I'm lucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I love how we just laugh at that, like, <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny if we could just watch his, like, his, his face impaled on, on a spike or something. Wouldn't that be hilarious? This part of the deep roads looks We're familiar. back where we started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? We're starving, we... though, right? Slow Holy down. shit. I I'm not feeling very well. Let's make yes. camp if you're sick. Look at that. <laughs> I'll wager it was She's being corrupted. Mushrooms we found. No. <gasps> Bethany! Holy fuck. No. 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 Don't do this to me. Don't kill Bethany. It's the blight that was me. I'll end up just like Wesley, won't I? No, you won't. We'll find a way there out. Must be some other way. I'm not going to last until the sun. No, are you fucking serious? <gasps> it's coming on faster. Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no way. Oh, sunshine. Are you fucking serious? No, no, ah, uh, no, I refuse. You'll take care of it, won't you? Oh, Sis? please, shit. You Are you fucking kidding me? And you always made me laugh. It's just you now. Take care of mother. Oh my god, I should listen to my fucking mother. Jesus Christ. How long ago was this? When did she get infected? Is it airborne? Are we all- would you- what? <laughs> oh fuck, never happened with Carver. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Home, oh my god. Sweet home. It's just gonna be sitting there and be like, where the fuck is Bethany? Ooh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Probably not. Her luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. This is true. I'm sorry about what happened to your sister. I should have seen Bartrand's betrayal coming. 
I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to uh, tell the family. God I don't damn it! Have much choice. You'll be a wealthy woman, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Fuck off. Five days in the deep road and she just gets infected and we just like, oh, yeah, now she's dead. It's like, what? What? <laughs> oh, my baby. You made it home. Uh, mother. Is it with you? Calm down. No. Is she mm. coming back? I'm sorry, mother. The blade took her. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know this would happen. <gasps> So the champion was responsible for her sister's death. How? I just let her go on the yes, expedition. But that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Guilt makes for the perfect motivation. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. Holy fuck. I have to Google this shit now. Hold on. The treasure we found Hold out the, the phone. Roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. I felt responsible for Bethany's death. She was a good girl. And met a bad end. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. Pretty sure you can romance Bethany, which is weird. <laughs> That's what that said. <laughs> like one of the top Google choices was, oh yes, would you like to romance? It's like, uh, what? was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance is held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. Oh. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. A year. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? Alright, before we get into that, hold on. So, I just found out... Here's a little, little spoiler section for, on the Bethany dying section or not. So, if you bring her to the expedition, she will die no matter what. If you bring her without... With 
just as I did, she dies. If you bring her in Enders, Enders performs the joining and then she leaves to become a great warding. If you don't bring her, she gets captured by the Templars and placed in the circle and effectively leaves her party. Yeah. To let her live, you must either omit her from the party or bring both her and Anders. She will still leave your party at the end of the act, but can rejoin in Act 3. Well, not anymore. <laughs> um, so what is you? Okay, so anyway, back to this. Back to this. I can't believe fucking Bethany died. God damn it. What does the Aeroshock want? Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Aeroshock. Oh, good. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange, well, you would be right. How is your son? Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. Aww. At least your fucking son didn't die with the blight. Do you fear a war? Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Yeah, I'll, I'll call. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. All at war, yeah. I should spend more time with my boy. This life is too short. All right, so because uh, this is technically the second act of the game, as seen with the the cutscene, um, where Varric talked about Bethany's death, which is a bunch of bullshit, by the way. Um, so I guess Carver would have died, but I just picked the right. I don't fucking know. I'll have to double check that, but uh, I'm not going to be jumping into the second. I can actually go back. <laughs> I could I could reload from before the expedition and fucking save her life, but what's been done has been done. And that is the end of chapter one for Dragon Age 2. Uh, this is the end of the recording session. So thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe. You know the YouTube stuff. I don't I don't like reminding people what they already know. Uh, but yeah, so next time we'll come back. We'll figure out what the Aeroshock wants. We'll hit up all of our old companions, see how they're doing. Uh, ask Anders why the fuck I didn't bring him with him. To help Bethany join the Grey Wardens. I just didn't like. I didn't expect her to get killed by the blight. Like, I don't know how the blight works. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's airborne, waterborne. If it's just a mage near lyrium too much. I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I would love to know, but I just don't. Probably one of the codexes, but I think we have like, I don't know, seventeen billion different codexes. Like, whoosh. Oh wait, let me open these up. Hold on. Just look look at all this lore I gotta go through in order to learn out learn how uh the uh they take victims for the blight. But yeah, so Bethany's is is, is dead, unfortunately. I hold I totally Zevron the, the entire situation up again. <laughs> for those who are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Zevron was the character in the first game who I apparently was not good enough friends with. Um and he betrayed us, and I had to kill him. So, two games in a row where I've lost a companion because of something really fucking stupid. Like, ugh, whatever. I'll complain about it another time, probably in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for me in this recording session. As I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, what was on the spiel? Ah, oh, yes. Have a good day, good night, good evening, good twilight, good afternoon, good whatever time you are in this, your time wizards. And I hope to see you guys next time when we come back to figure out what the air shock wants and to hit up our old, our old chums, see how they're doing. But until then, I will see you all next time.